Hi everyone, we're in section 6.1, uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors for our textbook, Linear Algebra Done Openly. And I wanna ask ourselves a question. Um, how do we know if a vector is an eigenvector? Um, the definition of an eigenvector and an eigenvalue were given in the last video, check that out. Um, if you're not sure what that means here. But how can we check if we have an eigenvector or not? It turns out it's a fairly simple check that I wanna show you in this video right here. So we have a matrix A, which is given to you, that two by two, one, six, five, two, and I have two vectors. Um, how can we check to see if these are eigenvectors or not? It turns out all we have to do is actually just multiply together the matrix and the vector. So if we take A times U, one, six, five, two is our A, and then u is six and negative five. So first just do the product of the matrix and the vector. So we end up with six minus 30 for the first uh, entry there, and then we get 30 minus 10. Uh, simplifying that, what would we end up with? We're gonna get negative 24 and then 20, like so. So we calculate the, the matrix vector product. And then we have to see, can we factor it, right? Because if you have an eigenvector, it'll satisfy the relationship that AX equals lambda X, or lambda is just some number, right? So we have to see, is the product we got divisible um, by our vector six and negative five? Or another way is, if we look at these numbers, can we find some common factor between them? So like negative 24 and 20, I just can't help myself, but notice, oh yeah, they're all divisible by four. Um, so if we factor out the four, we take out the four, we end up with a negative six and five. Now, is that the vector u? Well, it's kind of close, the sign is off. Um, I, have a, I have a negative six when I want a six, and I have a five when I have a negative, when I expect a negative five. That's actually an easy thing to fix. Factor out the negative one now, so we actually have negative four times uh, six and negative five. And so you'll now notice that this is negative four times the original vector u. So, so the answer to the question is yes. Yes here, uh, u is an eigenvector. It's an eigenvector, and then we also know its eigenvalue. Its eigenvalue is equal to negative four. Uh, what about the other vector, a times v? Well, if we do the matrix multiplication this time, let me write down a, one, six, five, two, uh, that should be a two. And then we times that by V, which is three and negative two. When we look at this product, again, doing the details here, we get three minus 12, and we're gonna get 15 minus four. Simplifying that, uh, we get negative nine and uh, 11 uh, as our vector product that time. Well, is that is that a multiple is this a multiple of V, right? So we could try to sort of randomly guess vector uh, scalars to fac factor out by looking at GCDs and things like we did last time. But really, we know what we want the vector to look like. We want a three and a negative two. So what do we multiply by three to get negative nine? Uh, well, notice that negative nine would have to factor as negative three times three. So if this is an eigen, if this is some eigen thing, we'd have to pull out negative three leaving behind a three right here. But what do we do when we factor out negative three from 11? We get like 11 over negative three. That is not gonna simplify to be a negative two, right? It's not negative two. And so to answer the question here, uh, we actually would have to reply in the negative here. We would say that no, V is not an eigenvector. And, eigen, and when we say eigenvectors here, of course, we're referring to a specific matrix. It's not an eigenvector to A. And this previous thing here, we also were talking about, it's an eigenvector to a specific matrix A. Just because this isn't an eigenvector to this matrix doesn't mean it couldn't be an eigenvector for another matrix. Uh, and so it's a really nice check to see uh, whether a vector is an eigenvector for a specific matrix or not. Just multiply the matrix and the vector together and then try to factor the product and see if you can get a multiple of the original uh, the original vector.